Okay, <clears throat> just a quick comparison between the old and the new Spitfire. Um, just I've just chosen one of the old boxings and one of the new boxings. Um, just going to have a look at the parts and see what I like and what I don't like about it. So um, this is obviously a re more recent boxing of the old one, otherwise this decal would look um, way more curved and antique and aged looking. So that's quite a usable decal um, of the old boxing, but compared compare that to what you get in the new box and that is just um, really really good so decal wise obviously the new the new kits are really really nice um, with the new kit which is this side the old kit that side the new kit I've removed a couple of the piece a uh, couple of this uh, the items out of the view um, but you do get propeller options and exhaust options and um, you do get um, pieces for undercarriage up, which makes it easy. You get another um, canopy option. But I'm, I'm trying to compare just sort of the essential kit here. Um, canopies. Uh, I can't really fault the old canopy that much, but the new canopy does look very nice um, and probably is a bit more accurate. We've got the antenna, radio antenna and pitot tubes. Um, much of a muchness, new pieces a little bit better. The old spinner and propeller molded into one, the new one separate. Um, you get you get a, a different spinner option as well, obviously, depending on which pro uh, propeller you're using. Um, the wheels on the new molding are flattened a little bit on the on the bottom uh, representing the weight of the aircraft as it stands on the ground the old ones didn't have that um, though it's easy enough to just flatten on one side <clears throat> but the new wheels look very nice and crisp compared to the old the undercarriage door with the oleo on it um, certainly looks better than the old one though the old one would have been quite usable the tail wheel looks a little bit different <clears throat> Um, I can't say which one is more accurate. Uh, I'm guessing the new one would be a bit more accurate, but the old one looks completely fine. I'll skip the cockpit for now. I'm just going to finish the exhausts. These ones um, look as if they're a little bit thinner to the surface, um, but they don't mount as deeply as the new ones do, so that's why these look a little bit longer. Um, those ones were completely usable, but again, the new one's a little bit crisper. We've got the um, oil cooler intake, or the radiator intake, oil cooler intake. Um, much of a muchness. That does look a little bit nicer than that and is more accurate. We've got a separate rudder, which looks, uh, which is quite nice to have. I'd, I'd quite like the idea of uh, having all, all uh, flying surfaces separated. Um, so comparing the cockpit, the pilot is a little bit redesigned though. The old, the old Airfix pilots were not too bad. That one isn't too bad. Um, but of course, look at that cockpit, that, that bunch of cockpit pieces compared to this. That's where the big difference comes in. Really, really nice. Could have, could have, I guess, even added more, um, more small detail parts, but this is completely fine for what is essentially a, a sort of a Series 1 type kit. Um, one noteworthy feature is the mounting for the horizontal stabilizer where it recesses into the tail area far more than the old one, which was quite a hassle to, to glue in. So that's a really nice feature of the new kit. The surface detail, really, really nice. The old ones, in this case, um, this Spitfire didn't have rivets. It had thin raised lines, which is not bad, but that just is so much uh, more appealing. Now, obviously, these recessed lines are 
overdone compared to the real aircraft. That probably represents a lot closer to reality, but this is so much nicer from the model point of view. The um, you know the the accentuated panel lines uh, that modelers like to do um, is so easy on this. So the FX kits lend lend well towards that. I compared the the um, the new and the old by by fitting the parts together and the it certainly looks as if the new ones had been redesigned rather than just uh, a correction of the old one um, there are minor differences here and there so all in all a very very nice kit I want to compare a couple of these um, I'd be interested to know how much work it is for Airfix as a company to get from the old kit of any particular aircraft to a new, but especially in these small ones. Because um, I would really, really like to see some, and obviously my favorite being the Harvard, being done and it's been left out up to now, whereas so many so many aircraft I, which I'd uh, regard as less significant than the Harvard have, have been done like the Bolton Paul Defiant, um, I guess the Bolton Paul Defiant looks interesting, um, having a turret and so on. Harvard isn't isn't exactly the most appealing of aircraft as far as what extras it's got on it and so on. But um, for its historic value, it's an, uh, an extremely valuable aircraft. Um, I'll I'll I'd like to do a Hurricane evaluation like this, and probably a Tiger Moth evaluation. Just looking at these parts, um, oh, I was just going to note I had I had done this earlier. Just fitted this, and I did notice that one thing which you may not uh, be able to see on the video is that the little mount the the positioning pins, these these little positioning pins are actually slightly too long for the holes that they fit into. Which means that if if a beginner just glued these together. Um, your surfaces aren't actually touching, which is quite odd for a new Airfix model. I would have thought that would be something that would be well dealt with. So you do have to remove those pins or at least file them down to a degree to get them to fit on there properly. And there is a slight warping um, as I hold it on, on the rear side. And you can see that that needs just a slight bit of force. But that's no big deal. I mean, that's... You see that on so many models. The uh, I, I didn't notice any warping on the wing. Looks looks pretty good. And um, the upper surface certainly has the the more robust part, so it would easily uh, conform to shape. Okay, just wanted to do a quick quick video of the two Spitfires. Um, I'll be doing more of these. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.